Hello everybody in internet YouTube land. Uh, Kerr Murphy here from Custom Audio Mutation. I just got done restoring, repairing, and getting this really cool weird 80s Laney AOR Series 2 amp to work. Um, I got this in completely non-functioning. It um, had really shitty distorted sound coming through it and I got to <laughs> get all kinds of troubleshooting chops pulled together to make this little booger work. Also had to do some chassis work to get all the full features back into the amp because of discontinued components and parts. This is a really cool amp, one of my favorite old weird 80s answers to the JCM800 type amp. If you can find these and you want that uh, JCM800 sound but like more gain and, and more flexibility, the Laney AOR stuff is awesome. And they're still fairly reasonably priced. You can find them sometimes between five and seven hundred bucks. Um, foot switchable channels, but it's cascading gain. So this clean channel actually will add or remove distortion in the high gain channel. And then you've got a couple of cute little uh, push pull knobs for uh, low end extension, mid range boost. On the master volumes, you actually have a push-pull for channel switching, which is also foot switchable. And then you've got a, a bright push-pull on the um, master volume. Now those things, and same thing for the master volume on the distortion channel, you got a bright switch that are push-pull. Those pots in this amp were bad, and you can't get them anymore. They're discontinued, the, the 100K, whatever the heck they are. Is, but you can't get them anymore. So I had to put um, little uh, toggly switches into the amp so that those functions would still be in there because they do really add to the sound. I, I got it running the other day and was playing it without that stuff and was missing the you know the added bite you can get. So enough chit chat. Um, everything at high noon except for the volumes and here we go. Let the little booger warm up. So not a particularly clean amp, unless you go into the low, into the low end, and maybe kick in the bright. And I've known a, a few people. I've known a few people to do that, but most people high it. There's that bright switch. So you see how massively, uh, that's like Marshall Land right there. DC type stuff in there, man. I'm gonna channel switch over real quick. Controls are all at high noon. Oh, <laughs> 
fun thing is, you can get even crazier, push that gain control on the overdrive. Listen to that fucking beautiful tube noise, baby. Um, the interesting thing about it is that um, I have an older AOR, one of the original ones, and they really sculpted back the low end on these Series 2, where when you do the pullout, that's where you start to get that woofy, old-school um, tube kind of flub, which is fun. But uh, great rock and roll amp, and uh, yeah, I just figured I'd do a cute little video and hack my way through it on guitar, so, you know, good times here at Custom Audio Mutation. <laughs> 